The first generation Taipei main station was completed and opened in 1891. Initially located on the southern side of Dadoching area, it was originally called the Taipei Railway Terminal and was a European-style shed station. The second generation Taipei main station was inaugurated in 1901, located in Baimen Town. It was a Renaissance-style building, known at the time as Taipei Parking Lot. In 1923, a smaller wooden rear train station was constructed on the north side of the track area within the station, replacing the Baimen Station, which was decommissioned on the same day, and becoming the new terminus for the Tamsway Line. The third-generation Taipei Main Station was rebuilt on the original site starting in 1939 and was completed in 1941. It was a modernist-style cubic concrete building, known at the time as Taipei Station. The long-distance bus terminal of the past, Taipei Intercity Bus Terminal, was located on both sides of Taipei Main Station. This third-generation station also became an important landmark in the Taipei area. In 1980, the Taipei Urban District Railway Underground Project was officially launched, sealing the fate of the third-generation Taipei Main Station for demolition, along with the roundhouse on its east side, which also became a part of history. Due to the need to demolish the third-generation station, Taiwan Railways constructed a temporary station on the west side of the existing station in 1985, to serve during the transition period. This temporary station remained in use until its demolition in 2000. The fourth-generation Taipei Main Station was inaugurated on September 2, 1989, and is the current Taipei Main Station building. Initially, the western trunk line of Taiwan Railways in Taipei City was designed at ground level, resulting in numerous railroad crossing with city roads which exacerbated traffic congestion in the Taipei area. In 1979, the executive yuan approved the railway underground project for Taipei City, and in July 1983, the Ministry of Transportation and Communications established the Taipei Urban District Railway Underground Project Office to plan and implement this project. The underground work began in 1983 and was completed in 2011. The Taipei Railway Underground Project involves a series of engineering works to submerge the section of the Taiwan Railway's western trunk line that crosses Taipei City and New Taipei City. This project moved the train tracks underground eliminating railroad crossings. After the railway was moved underground, not only was the rail traffic from Shulin to Chidu significantly improved, but the large vacant areas were also used for various new constructions, giving Taipei City a completely refreshed appearance. The Taipei Urban District Railway Underground Project is divided into four phases. The first phase was the Taipei Station Railway Underground Project, which started in 1983 and covered the section from Huashan Station to Wanhua Station. The project involved relocating a total of 4.42 kilometers of railway underground, constructing the first underground fourth-generation Taipei Station, building a new Banqiao coachyard as a dispatch base for trains on the eastern trunk line in Banqiao, and constructing the Nangang Freight Station to replace the Huashan Freight Station. The project was contracted to the RSEA at the time and was completed and inaugurated on September 1, 1989. The benefits of the railway underground project at Taipei Station include the elimination of 13 railroad crossing in the Ximen area, the connection of Chongqing South Road and North Road with Gongyuan Road, the expansion of Zhengzhou Road, and the linkage of Zhengxi West Road with Qingde Road. These improvements have significantly enhanced the convenience and fluidity of traffic around Taipei Main Station and the Ximen area. By removing the barriers created by the previous ground-level railway facilities, the project has fostered more balanced urban development. Additionally, the land freed up by moving the railway underground totals approximately 99,000 square meters. Huashan was formerly known as Huashan Town during the Japanese colonial period, and it was home to the Huashan Goods Station on the Western Trunk Line Railway. After Taiwan's retrocession, it was renamed Huashan Freight Station. The station was decommissioned during the period of the Taipei Station Railway Underground Project, 
with its functions transferred to the Nangang Freight Station. The site is now Central Culture Park. Adjacent to the Huashan Station was the Taihoku Winery, which once had a winery branch line connecting to the station. Following the cessation of its brewing operations, the site lay dormant. After the railway at Taipei Station was moved underground, the space was revitalized and transformed into the Huashan 1914 Creative Park. Chenghua Market, once located on Section 1 of Zhenghua Road, was the largest public comprehensive market in the Greater Taipei area. The need for the railway underground project required the construction of a tunnel beneath Zhenghua Road on the west side of the mall to lay high-speed rail standard gauge tracks. Subsequently, to accommodate the construction of Ximen Station for the Taipei MRT, Chunghua Market was demolished in 1992. The original site was then transformed into a boulevard. The second phase of the railway underground project, the Songshan East Extension Project, began construction in 1989. The project starts from Huashan Tunnel in the west and extends eastward to Songshan Station, covering a total length of 5.33 kilometers. The project involved extending the underground tunnel to Songshan while also constructing a parallel tunnel from Songshan to Taipei Station, resulting in two tunnels with a total of four tracks additionally, two emergency halt stations, Guangfu and Fuxing, were constructed within these tunnels. The land freed up by the Songyan project was repurposed to create surface roads, merging with Zhengzhou Road, which was constructed during the initial Taipei Station underground project from Qingde Road to Zhangshan South Road, forming a new road. Additionally, the Taipei City East-West Expressway was constructed above it. As for the underground railway portion of the project, the South Tunnel was completed and opened on August 3, 1992, while the North Tunnel was completed and opened on June 18, 1994. The Civic Boulevard Expressway was completed and opened to traffic on September 7, 1997. The benefits of the Songyan project include improving surface traffic in Taipei's Eastern District, promoting overall development in the area, reducing noise pollution from trains running on the surface, enhanced environmental quality along the route, and allowing the former Taiwan Railway land to be repurposed for multiple uses after the railway was moved underground. Civic Boulevard Elevated Expressway was designed by CC Engineering Consultants Incorporated, Taiwan and constructed by the RSEA. It spans a total length of 6.4 kilometers. The west side of the Elevated Expressway connects to the Zhongxia Bridge and the Huanqi Expressway, while the east side directly connects to Zhengqi Bridge at Keelung Road, linking to the MacArthur No. 1 Bridge and the Huandong Expressway. Initially, Ramps were reserved for the planned Taipei Long Distance Bus Transfer Station and Zhongshan Academy during its opening. After the Taipei Bus Station started operations in 2009, bus vehicles could enter the ramp from the third floor of the bus station, merging into the westbound lanes towards Sanchong. In sections where the road shares rights of way with the railway, the foundations of the elevated bridge piers are integrated with the railway tunnel, underground streets, or underground parking structures, creating a combined infrastructure. The third phase, known as the Wanwabanxia Railway Underground Project, began in 1992. It involved submerging 15.3 kilometers of railway from Wanhua Station to Banxia Station Underground, reconstructing the original Wanhua Station into an underground station, and constructing the new Banxia Station. After the railway was moved underground, the original ground-level railway tracks were converted into Banka Boulevard, Watsue Bridge, and Sienmin Boulevard. The entire project was completed on July 20, 1999. The controversy between Taiwan Railways Administration and Taiwan High Speed Rail mainly stems from competition for platforms at Taipei Station and the use of TRA's South Tunnel by the THSR, which affected the operation of the Taipei Railway Depot. In 2003, the MOTC reassigned platforms initially intended for metro use at Taipei Station to the THSR, leading to a significant protest by TRA employees who lay on the tracks. In the Wanban project, the South Tunnel was designated for THSR use, necessitating TRA to excavate the North Tunnel first to maintain its operations. 
However, since the North Tunnel was already in use from the first phase, it was not feasible to work on the underground section beneath it. Consequently, excavation began with the South Tunnel, causing TRA trains to temporarily share tracks with the THSR. Due to the THSR's use of the South Tunnel, TRA vehicles could no longer access the Taipei Railway Depot. Ultimately, TRA decided to relocate the depot to Fugang in Yangmei, Taoyuan, which is now known as the Fugang Vehicle Depot. The fourth phase of the railway underground project, known as the Nangang East Extension Project, began on November 1, 1998. This phase involved submerging 19.5 kilometers of railway from the Keelung Road intersection in Taipei City to the Chidu Marshalling Yard underground. Additionally, the Chidu Marshalling Yard was reconstructed to replace the Nangang Marshalling Yard. The project was completed on October 23, 2011. The main structure of Taipei Station consists of four underground levels and six above-ground levels, featuring an exterior design with Chinese cultural characteristics. The station building is 140 meters long from east to west and 109.5 meters long from north to south, with a height of 47.8 meters. It has a total floor area of 58,000 pings and a total floor area of 1.9 million square meters, with a daily passenger capacity of 200,000. Facilities on each floor of the station, the first floor is the street level, with three entrances and exits on the south and north sides, and two entrances and exits and one office building in trance on the east and west sides. The Northgate M1 exit connects to the Taipei MRT Tamsway Line, the M2 exit connects to Civic Boulevard, and the Northgate 3Y8 exit connects to Taipei City Mall. Inside the street level, there are Taiwan Railways Administration and Taiwan High-Speed Rail Ticketing, a Visitor Information Center, the TRA Duty Office, a Railway Police Substation, a THSR MPS Liaison Section, the Taipei Station Baggage Service Center, and the THSR Administration Office. The second floor hosts a food court operated by the Breeze Group. From the third to the sixth floors, there are TRA office levels, which house the TRA headquarters, the scheduling control center, the THSR employee rooms, and offices for various private enterprises and organizations such as the YMCA, as well as the TRA auditorium. The first underground floor is divided into a concourse level and an underground passageway. The concourse level houses the THSR ticketing, automatic ticketing for both THSR and TRA, ticket gates, an underground parking lot, a military transportation service, as well as waiting area for THSR and TRA, and connects to the first underground floor of the MRT station. The underground street is divided into Taipei City Mall, Zhongshan Metro Mall, and Station Front Metro Mall. The second underground floor features the MRT lobby and offices, TRA traffic room and central station monitoring center, and platforms for both TRA and THSR, each with two island platforms. The third underground floor houses a high-capacity traffic control center, the platforms, and connecting passageways for the MRT Bannon Line. The fourth underground floor is home to the MRT Tamsuisini Line platforms. Wanwa Station consists of two buildings, the East and West. The East building has 16 floors above ground and one underground, while the West building has 26 floors above ground and one underground. The first underground floor of the East building is TRA platform level. The ground floor features entrances and exits, a TRA ticketing, automatic ticketing, and an information desk. The second floor is closed, third to tenth floors are used by the Taipei City Government's second administrative center. The eleventh floor is used for the offices of Taipei City Hospital, the twelfth floor houses mechanical and electrical equipment, and the thirteenth to sixteenth floors are banquet halls of the Great Skyview Hotel. The first underground floor of the West Building is TRA platform level. The ground floor features entrances and exits, a TRA ticketing, automatic ticketing, a waiting area, ticket gates, 
and the lobby of the Caesar Metro Taipei Hotel. The second floor is the hotel's guest lobby. The third and fourth floors contain the hotel's banquet halls and restaurants. The fifth and sixth floors host public facilities, and the seventh to twenty-sixth floors are the hotel's guest rooms. The main structure of Songsan Station is a building with 17 above-ground floors and three underground levels. It serves as an underground railway station for both the Western Trunk Line of TRA and the Songshan Xindian Line of Taipei MRT. The ground floor includes station entrances and exits, a bus parking area, the Songsan Bus Transfer Station, and a food court. The second and third floors are designated as a shopping area featuring various stores that are rented out to different businesses. The 4th to 17th floors are designated as a commercial area, containing offices that are part of the commercial district planning. The first underground floor is the concourse level, featuring the TRA ticketing, a shopping street, and an interconnection passage for the TRA and THSR rail systems. The second underground floor is the platform level, which includes the station concourse, TRA waiting platforms, and automatic ticketing. The third underground floor is for the Taipei MRT Songshan Xindian Line and features an island platform. Before the underground railway project, dense intersections between railways and roads hindered traffic in Taipei's metropolitan area. Consequently, the MOTC decided to move the railways underground. Tong Ping, the then director of the Taipei Urban District Railway Underground Project Office, insisted on contracting the project through negotiated procurement with the RSEA to ensure quality and adherence to the schedule. The RSEA fulfilled its mission, completing the first phase of the Taipei Station Underground Project on time and with high quality. This involved the undergrounding of Taipei Station and laying tracks in the tunnels, which alleviated traffic congestion and laid a solid foundation for a smoother transportation network in Taipei. The second phase, the Songsan East Extension Project, was also completed on schedule. This project utilized the vacated land to reconstruct surface roads in coordination with Zhengzhou Road and constructed Taipei City's first and currently only East-West Expressway, Civic Boulevard, in an elevated manner. This significantly helped distribute the heavy traffic flow through Taipei City, showcasing the significant contributions of the RSEA's staff to Taiwan. The RSEA's ability to handle such significant tasks stems from its commitment to completing every mission. This is largely due to the dedication of its RSEA's staff who have been working alongside the engineering personnel for decades, embodying the fighting spirit of completing even the most challenging tasks. Despite the passage of time, the veterans who devoted themselves to Taiwan's public projects have now grown old. The RSEA has also retired after accomplishing its mission. However, the construction achievements left by RSEA's staff in Taiwan and around the world, including the Taipei Urban District Railway Underground Project and the Taipei Metro Project, continue to serve and benefit many people. These contributions are indelibly etched in history and will never be forgotten. The spirit of RSEA is worthy of emulation. We must also express our gratitude for the efforts of RSEA staff toward Taiwan. This episode introduces the first phase of the Taipei Station Railway Underground Project and the second phase of the Songshan East Extension Railway Underground Project. The next episode will continue with the introduction of the third phase, the Wanban Project, and the fourth phase, the Nangang Project, of the Taipei Railway Underground Project. Stay tuned!